Even when you feel low, you can still go Even when you feel slow, you can still go Even when there's no hope, you can still go I never answer to no man, I still go Go, go Today, I'm going to be installing these carbon exhaust black 5-inch tips on my 2021 Dodge Charger Scat Pack. I got a lot of black going on on this car. I'm hoping that these black muffler tips are not going to be a bad look. Um, maybe the chrome or, or polished tip would have been a better choice to you know, break up some of the black, but uh, I think this is the way that I want to go, so we'll get them mounted up and see how I feel about it. Now, these exhaust tips are pretty much an aesthetic. Um, I don't expect there to be much of a change in sound or power or anything like that. That'd be ridiculous. Um, they may be a little bit deeper just because they are larger, uh, but really not a lot of uh, loudness or anything like that. I was originally going to wait until I could get the mid-muffler delete done to put the tips on, uh, but I called the local muffler shop in, in our small town, and he's booked out a week and a half. I didn't realize our small town had that much exhaust work to do, but good for him. Carbon exhaust tips run about 250 bucks. Uh, I actually found these online on a website for $213, and oddly enough, they didn't charge me any sales tax or any shipping. They shipped and arrived pretty fast. They did not come with any instructions whatsoever. It was literally just these two tips wrapped in plastic in some foam in a cardboard box. I know the installation should be pretty easy. There's only one bolt and a clamp that needs to be removed. I'm fairly certain I can do it right here in the garage without even jacking the car up, so let's get started. So this is the factory four inch tip. If we slide up under here, there's this one bolt that we gotta loosen to remove this clamp, and that should let this tip slide out. I uh, may need to convince it a little bit with a rubber mallet. Looks like it's about a half inch. Yep, that's a half inch bolt. Seen multiple videos of people doing this. There seemed a lot easier than mine. My car's got about 21,000 miles on it, but I'm probably just being, you know, too easy. <laughs> that was a big pain in the butt, but there's the factory four inch exhaust tip uh, off the car. Problem was it was a little stuck in there and I didn't want to convince it with the rubber mallet. So I actually took the handle out of my floor jack and just stuck it in a rag to protect the, the finish of the tip and pushed on it and it popped right loose. So here's the outlet from the resonator without the tip on it. And what I'm probably gonna do, it's probably not really necessary at all, but I'm gonna clean this up a little bit to see if the new one will go on a bit easier than the old one came off. And a quick size comparison between the factory four inch tip that I just took off and the carbon exhaust five inch tip. It's a little bit bigger. These new tips have a logo, so you definitely want to put them on with that facing up. Go, 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 go. I'm going to leave that a little loose until I get the other one on. Make sure that they both are, you know, looking uniform and not looking all wall eyed. One looking one way and one looking the other. I did get the tips on with minimal issue. However, in order to get the stock tips off, I really had to uh, use like a pry bar and just break them free because they didn't want to come off. Putting the new ones on was not terrible, but the alignment is very, very difficult for someone like me who has just a touch of OCD. You want the same gap 
um, basically on each side and so far I have not achieved that. Um, I actually just test drove it so I can't adjust them again right now but it's really difficult for me to get these things dialed in exactly you know where they both look the same on each side. And on the subject of test driving I said that I didn't think that there would be very much difference in sound. Doing the cold start I thought it sounded really good maybe even a little deeper than the OEM tips but driving down the road, it was a little lackluster, to be honest. Most of the time, I'm driving this car in track mode, which opens the active exhaust and lets it really flow really well. But with these carbon 5-inch tips, it actually lost a little bit of that uh, really aggressive crackling pop that you get in between a uh, hard shift and when you're decelerating and it's downshifting. Um, you used to get a really nice sound that you just don't get with these tips. I think the tips look really good, but I'm not all that satisfied with losing any of the aggressive sound that I had from the factory. For me, I think it's going to be extremely important to stick to my plan and do a mid-muffler delete. Uh, that should give it some aggressive sound back, and to be honest, if I don't like the way that turns out still, uh, I may go back to the factory tips. So that's going to do it for this video and my quick installation and review of the Carvin bolt-on black 5-inch tips for the Dodge Charger. I'll see you in the next video.